welcome back to our channel. So today we are gonna show you how we make our giant cosmic brownie cookies. So you probably are already very familiar with the Little Debbie cosmic brownies that you can get in the grocery store. Well, we took that to a next level and we make a cookie, a giant cosmic brownie cookie that is absolutely delicious. The cookie is thick and chewy and we have a sweet ganache that goes on the top with some rainbow uh, candy coated like chocolate chips. It's really amazing. So do these taste exactly like the cosmic brownies that you get in the grocery store? No, they taste better, right? Okay, so we're gonna get started. Right here in our medium bowl, we have two and a half cups of flour. No, wait. Then we're gonna dump in I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, one cup of dark cocoa. I like to use Hershey's special dark cocoa. It's Then we have one half teaspoon of baking it's soda. Gold in there and then and then it's brown and it has a filter. Yeah. Then we're gonna put in one half teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. So that mix it. Very oh. carefully. I do. Uh, very carefully. Gently, gently. We just want to make sure it's well incorporated. Snow. snow mixed with dirt, right? Yes. Yeah, so it doesn't taste like that. Tastes delicious. Okay, so let's. You do a really good job. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna set that aside. Then we have a large bowl here with one cup of salted butter. So it's important to have salted butter because we want that delicious, rich chocolate flavor to come out. Okay, we're not eating the butter. All right, so one cup or just two sticks of salted butter, and that is softened to room temperature. And we are going to cream that together with one cup of dark brown sugar. I want to do it. It's also important to use dark brown sugar because that's what gives our brownie cookies that chewy, chewy Chew, texture. Okay. I also, I also like my babies helping me because they really want to help me Let's pay attention to this. No. <laughs> so then one half cup of sugar. Sugar. Okay, and we're gonna cream that together. Then are we gonna do that two eggs? This all mixed up. So, so mommy's just popping up. We are supposed to be making some brownie cookies here, Chicky Poo. Yeah. 
Okay, so then we are going to dump all of our dry ingredients into our bowl. Yeah. And we're gonna mix this up really good. Oh, you're getting me sticky. <coughs> Silly Willy. <coughs> Can you clean mommy's hand? <laughs> well, it's like glue. we form our cookie dough balls and get them in the oven. So we'll be back shortly to show you how we do that. Okay guys, we are back and our cookie dough batter has now chilled in the refrigerator for about an hour. So we're gonna get ready to show you how we get these on our cookie sheet and in the oven. So right now our oven is preheating to 350 degrees. We have our cookie sheet here, fit it with the sill pad. And as you know, if you watch our channel, I will always say, Use a silk pad or a piece of parchment paper when you're baking your cookies so that they bake up evenly and they don't burn. So as you can see, I already started. We have our cookie dough balls on our cookie sheet and I will show you how we get them on there and then flatten them and get them ready to get them in the oven. I will too. Okay. All right, so I am using a large cookie scoop because these are giant cosmic brownie co cookies, right? Okay, wow. so we put it in our hands and you want to work it like a, a dough almost. Yeah. Then roll it into a big circle here. I'm and just going to get just a little bit more. And you don't want to be like overdoing it because you want it to be like crunchy and chewy. Ooh, okay. That's right. We don't overbake them, right? Okay, so this is your cookie dough ball. We stick it on our cookie sheet, and let me move this so I can show you. You take the palm of your hand, and then you're just going to flatten it. I'll do that. To about three quarters of an inch. So you're making like a round disc here. Okay, That's, but we have enough on here right now. We can only put six on, okay? Um, because they're so big, we wanna put them on only six at a time. Okay, so then we're going to pop these in the oven. We're going to bake them from 12 to 13 minutes. You do not want to over bake them because they bake up like a brownie. And even when you think they're not done, they actually really are. So stick to the 12 to 13 minute mark and you will have the perfect cookies. So when these are done and cooled, we will be back to show you how we make our delicious ganache. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and our cookies have now baked up perfectly and they have cooled completely. Look how pretty they are. So now it's time to show you how to make the ganache. So to make your ganache, you need three fourths cup of milk chocolate chips, three fourths cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, now, if you want a ganache that has more of that deep, rich chocolate uh, flavor that's real bitter, by all means, just use all semi-sweet chocolate chips, but I prefer a sweet ganache, um, and that's also why I'm gonna be adding sugar to our heavy cream. So I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of sugar into one half cup of heavy cream. 
and you just want to mix that in. So this heavy cream has been heated for about a minute in the microwave. You want to heat it for about 45 seconds to a minute in the microwave. You want it to start forming bubbles and boiling. Mine took about a minute to do that. And then all you do is dump this on top of your chocolate chips, press them down into that heavy cream, and then we are going to cover this and let it sit for five minutes. The key to a perfect ganache is letting it rest. We don't start mixing it right away. You just wanna let it rest for about five minutes. And after it's done that, we'll come back and stir it all together and get it ready to put on our cookies. So I'll be back in five minutes. Okay guys, our ganache has now been resting for about five minutes. So we're gonna take this lid off and just stir this until it is nice and smooth. You wanna make sure that all those chocolate chips melt it up very good. Okay guys, so our ganache rested for about five minutes and then I just whisked it until it was nice and smooth. As you can see, it's nice and smooth and thick. You just wanna make sure that all of that chocolate gets melted through your ganache perfectly. And then it's time to frost these cookies. So as you can see, I already started, um, but all you do is you take about one tablespoon of that chocolate ganache and you wanna drop it right in the center of your cookie. And then you're gonna work it to the outer edge of your cookie, but you don't wanna to go to the very edge. You wanna leave a border around the cookie because otherwise your ganache is going to melt over the side. And you don't want that because you just want them to look like they have a dot in the center here. And then once you get that on, you're going to take your candy coated mini chocolate chips and just sprinkle them on the top. Now these are kind of difficult to come by. So if you can't find them in your grocery store, you can absolutely purchase them on Amazon. Um, if you can't find them at all, you can also use sprinkles or you could just drizzle like a white chocolate um, drizzle over the top of the ganache. You could get fun with this, whatever you wanna do, whatever you like. And also the ganache on top of these cookies is delicious without anything on top of it. So you have many options. Okay, so I'm gonna work on finishing all of these cookies and when they're finished, I'm just going to let them rest on the countertop your ganache is going to harden up perfectly. I usually like to let them rest for a couple of hours until it hardens. If you like, you can also stick them in the refrigerator and the cookie itself will get even fudgier. It's so delicious. But if you like this recipe, guys, please give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe below so you gain access to all of our future videos. Thanks so much for tuning in and take care.